Hi everyone, welcome to Mim's Mud Cakery. I'm Mim and I run a chocolate brownie business on Mersey Island called Mersey Mud Cake. So the Mim's Mud Cakery series is all about taking the bake from my kitchen into yours. So we're going to bake our way through some recipes, I'm going to give you some top tips and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. So get your apron on, get in the kitchen and let's get caking. Okay, so today we're gonna to make a muddy sundae. And you can't have a muddy sundae on its own. So we're gonna make some Florentines first. Um, Florentines are actually really amazing. You think that they're Italian, but they're actually French. And I only learned this a few years back. Um, it was my brother's wedding and he went to Italy. Um, and oh, Italian desserts are just the most delicious desserts. All the knots and the spices and oh, so good. Anyway, Florentines, really delicious. And we're gonna make them today. So the thing that I'm gonna say first about all of this Mud Cakery series, so I'm going to bake in cups. And I know that a lot of people don't like cups. They're inaccurate, they're not, they're really good. They are so simple and amazing. So you can have nice pretty cups like this, or you can have nice colorful cups like this. Um, either way, if you don't have cups, get yourself some cups because they are so, they're just cups and they're amazing. <laughs> um, so I've already pre-measured. We have got um, one and a half cups of, um, oh, this is good stuff. So we've got apricots, bananas, some sour cherries, coconut. And to be fair, with a Florentine, you can put anything inside it. If you've got mixed peel in the cupboard, then use that. If you've got cherries, if you've got nuts, or whatever you've got in the cupboard, this is like cupboard stuff. So you open your cupboard, get in there, put the stuff in the bowl, and that's it. That is your base for the Florentine. Then what you need is a quarter of a cup of butter, um, unsalted butter. We've got half a cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar, um, and we've got a third of a cup of flour, uh, plain flour. Um, and we're gonna get three tablespoons of syrup in, golden syrup, and I've got some chocolate for afterwards. So, let's get started. Um, first, we are going to do some chopping. So let's get, so this is gonna be messy, but it doesn't matter. I'm the world's rubbish chopper. Is a chopper a thing? I'm just gonna chop. You can add um, any kind of mixed, mixed kind of nuts and fruit. Just keep going, really messy. My brother's wedding was amazing though. He had the, oh, most beautiful food, desserts. Italy, Italy is an amazing place. Oh, then we took this one trip to the Amalfi Coast. Hilarious. They said, buy a lemon. I was like, okay, I'll buy a lemon. Not just a lemon, massive, massive lemon. I literally have a picture of myself holding a lemon bigger than my face. It was amazing. Those were some good times. Um, actually, it's their anniversary coming up soon. Happy anniversary, guys! <laughs> I'm making Florentines for you. Okay, so, you've chopped your nuts. They're looking good. Um, and you're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna go to the hob. We're gonna take the butter, the brown sugar, and the golden syrup. Walk with me. Uh, grab yourself a spatula or a wooden spoon, whatever takes your fancy. And we're literally just putting the butter, the brown sugar, and the golden syrup in. So I'm gonna get this butter in. Oh, that is looking good. Let's melt the butter a bit first. Butter takes ages to melt. Once your butter is melted, we're going to add the brown sugar in. Give that a really good stir. And then, this is my favorite bit, golden syrup. Okay, so you want 
three tablespoons. Oh, look at that. That is good. One, two. Look at that drizzle. There we go. <laughs> and three. Might really get that. Scoop it all in. Okay. Let's get that really nice and melted. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, if this was smell vision oh my God, this smells so good. You can smell, it's like caramel. You can smell that really lovely caramel, the sweetness, the butteriness. Oh, so good. Okay, we're going to take it back. We're moving. Now we've got our lovely caramel sauce in here. Let's just tip the flour in. Get all that good flour in. Give that a really good mix. Mm. And then all those lovely nuts and fruit. We're gonna get that into the pan. Mix it all in. So, oh, look at that. That is looking really lovely and sticky and gooey. So once we've done all this, this is going to go in the oven and then we're going to coat the underside with chocolate. So let's take some spoonfuls. If you've got one of those snazzy ice cream scoopers, perfect, use those. Or not, just use a spoon. The whole point of this is to try and keep things simple. There we go. Okay, so Florentines, they spread. So you think they are cute little dollops. Oh, look, they're so cute. Once they go into that oven, they are going to turn into big bad boy Florentines. So give them space. They're going to need a lot of space to grow. They don't like to be close together. They like their first nice space. Jeff takes it. Mmm. Straight down the pan. Oh, so good. Because if you don't taste it, you don't know if it's going to be good. Mm. These are going to go into the oven for about 10 minutes, but watch them. They're going to start getting really sticky. They're going to spread. They're going to bubble. Once they slowly stop bubbling, about eight to 10 minutes, um, and they spread out really flat, that's when you know they're ready. So. Let's get them in. And your oven is going to be 180 degrees. Should have worn a an oven glove. They're hot. <laughs> okay, it's going in. Let's get the timer going. Oh, they are just perfect. Really brown and caramelly. All that sugar and the butter has caramelized. It's mixed with all the nuts and the fruit. And this is going to taste amazing. So, just wait for it. Give it a few minutes on the tray to cool down because this is So the Florentines, really lovely and cool now, and they've got this really nice crisp underneath. Um, and what we're gonna do is coat that in really lovely dark chocolate. If you don't like dark, you can use milk or white, whatever you want, um, but I'm a dark chocolate lover. So you've got about a cup of chocolate in here, um, and we're just going to pop this into the microwave or you can heat it on a saucepan over a bain marie however way you melt chocolate the easiest thing is just shove it in the microwave that's going to take about a minute it'll melt 
and then I'm going to cook these bad boys. Okay, so after a minute in the microwave, this oh, is how good that chocolate looks. It is so melted and silky and what I would do to just put a spoonful of that in my mouth right now. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not doing it. Maybe I'll do. Okay, so if you have a pastry brush, then brilliant, you're winning. If you don't, just use the spoon, that's fine. It just makes things a bit prettier um, and a bit quicker. So you're gonna take your Florentine and you're just going to uh, pretend that you are an artiste and you're gonna paint your Florentine. You are literally painting your Florentine. Mm, beautiful, darling, beautiful. Oh, look at that, scoop it on really nice and if you want if you want to take it to the next level and get a fork and do a really cool pattern up down up down up down up down up down up down and that just gives it um a little bit of prettiness so with all of them just keep it going Oh, look, oh, look at that. That just, oh, I can't do it. I can't, I don't have any self-control. Oh, no. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Who can paint chocolate? I'm just Florentine and not eat it. Mmm. <laughs> so, mmm. That's not supposed to happen. You're supposed to have a crispy chocolate. But if you can't wait that long, just go for it. Now it's all melty and it's warm. And the Florentine is really crispy and caramelly. And it's just... Mm. Don't serve that one to the guest. No, it's good. Mm. Okay. I'm going to finish chewing this. Florentines are really chewy. <laughs> mm. And that's it. Florentines. And so the Florentines are for the Muddy Sunday. So this is going to get really exciting. We're going to do the Muddy Sunday, and our Florentines are going to be ready right next to them. So I'm just going to eat this before I do the Muddy Sunday. Energy food. Again, we're not recording, are we? Okay, so now we're going to construct the actual Sunday, and this is going to be really good. So first, you're going to need some mud cream. That is Mersey Mud Cakes ice cream, which you can grab on the website. Um, a spoon, and what we're going to do is let's scoop Oh, there we go. Let's scoop some of this in. Push it right in. Let's get some of that yummy ice cream in there. This is going to be messy, and that's good. The messier, the better. Okay, squeeze some in there. Back of your spoon. Squash it right down. Because we need space for everything else. And actually, you can do this mm, however way you want. You can put the mud cake, you can put cake in first, you can put melted chocolate, whatever you want. Um, I didn't tell everybody what I've got on the table. Okay, this is what I've got on the table. So we've got some mud cream, yummy mud cakes available on the website. We've got some lovely melted chocolate. Uh, we've got some, oh, lovely sour cherries in there and sprinkles. So, ice cream in here. It's looking really good. Let's get some mud cakes. Um, I've got Ferrero Rocher ones today. Mmm. Oh, monsieur, with this Ferrero Rocher, you are spoiling us. I'm just going to chop them up. Small little pieces. Chuck it in. Oh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. 
Get some more of your melted chocolate. Drizzle it over the top. And you can use a piping bag. You can make it really fancy if you want to, but no need. Just spoon it. Look at that. Oh, big chunks, big chunks down the side. Just do the whole thing. Woo! Layer it up. Okay, and then sprinkles. Any sprinkles you like. I've got Harry Potter sprinkles. <laughs> A big Harry Potter fan. Put the sprinkles on there. Oh, it's looking really good. Loads of sprinkles. Sprinkles are going everywhere. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. And you can serve this with your Florentines on the side or get one of your beautiful Florentines. Crispy and delicious. There we go. Squash it in. Et voila. The perfect muddy sunday and you need one of these tall spoons and you're gonna get this oh i'm going in i'm going in get some sauce some ice cream some mud cake mmm 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 i think that's really good that's really really good oh my goodness get some of that sprinkle in there oh all that chocolate mmm so good. I'm just going to um mm, I'm just gonna keep eating this. <laughs> so there you have it. Muddy Sunday. Yeah.